What's up guys, DJ back with another video and today we're going to take a look at some acrylic cases that I bought recently and uh, we got some Pokemon, we got some Dragon Ball Super um, cases which I'll show you guys. We'll start with Dragon Ball Super, okay, so this case here only costed me, personally, $35 to buy, fairly affordable. I think they usually sell for 50 but, um, yeah, I, I guess he is a friend, and he was kind of promoting these, so $35, it slides from the bottom, alright, so, um, let's see if I can get it to do it, there it is, so it slides like that, that way, see, um, you put the booster box in, and then you slide it across, so, there's no magnets on this one, and I know there's several ones out there to buy if you wanted to buy it, but this one was fairly affordable. Even at $50, it's quite cheap. Uh, some are selling for more. So if you're in Australia and you're interested in buying some of these, let me know in the comments and I'll let you know who sells them. The current seller does not really want to be known for some reason, um, but the guy I got it from is like my middleman to get these. So, I mean, he can get some more if you want it. Because I don't even know who makes them. I don't know where he got it from. All I know is he can get me more if he, if I wanted to get more. So, uh, I think $35 was what I paid. I'm not sure if that's like the ongoing price or not. But I believe they, well, I believe he says he sells them for 50 normally. So, um, there you go. I've encased my Vermilion Bloodline, Solid Saiyans, and... Actually, Battle Evolution Booster Box. So they're all encased in these things now. Um, even the uh, Vicious Rejuvenation Box, which I have right here. So there you go. I got four different boxes all encased. As you can see in the background, we got some Pokemon that I will go through in a second as well. But they look really nice. They're definitely kept pretty protected and well sealed. Um, yeah, happy to have these cased up like that and, you know, I'm sure nothing can hit the booster boxes or damage the taping or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, of course, I'll have these on display. It definitely looks better like that. Uh, we'll move on to Pokemon now. we got the Pokemon booster box, uh, Vivid Voltage. Now, take a look at the difference between <laughs> the acrylic on this and the acrylic on that. The acrylic on this is definitely thicker. I think it's like 8 inches or something, 8 millimeters thick. Uh, some people aren't a fan of the whole magnet thing, but I think it looks alright, and I think it's definitely more stronger, as you can see, holds the box. There's no, um, I guess, no sliding or anything, it's just, this part here comes off, as you can see, as you can see, so, comes off like that, and you put the booster box in through here, so, uh, my neighbor actually has a business he sells these, um, they flick in like that, he's getting more in, uh, his business name will be, I think, in the comment section, because I actually know his business name, <laughs> he also sells the plastic ones on eBay, more so, so you won't find the plastic ones on his website, on his business page, but on his eBay, I'll link them both in the comment section below, but these ones, he sells for $50 each as well, fairly cheap as well, but also we have ETB protectors, same thing, uh, magnets on the side, over here, if I can get it off, but it's super strong that I'm not even going to try with one hand, um, let's see, uh, yeah, yeah, not going to do that, <laughs> uh, so Hidden Fates, yeah, you know how it is, like, these kind of ETBs I like to protect, my booster boxes I'd like to protect, if they're affordable, I will buy them, they look better and they're safe. So that's, I mean, the job is already done if they're kept safe and they're not going to be ripped or anything like that. Um, there it is. See, I loosened it. Um, so the magnet comes off on the side and it goes straight on. So as you notice, I was trying to pull it off before and it wasn't coming off until I really tilted it. Um, but normally, see how that's on now? If I lift this up like that, it's not going to come off. Now, I am a bit sore because I did bouldering the other day, so <laughs> that's why I can't really use my hands and my, my arm muscles or whatever like that, so 
but otherwise, yep, I've been encapsulating quite a few of these boxes for investment and also just looks better as a whole. So if you guys want to get some of these, feel free to, you know, let me know in the comments. Um, they definitely look a lot neater, but um, yeah, I think the average going price is above $50, but all of these prices right here are ranging from $50. Now, my neighbor is selling ETB protectors like this and the booster box protector as a pair for $100 posted or something like that um, as a pre-order special. I'm not sure how much he's actually going to charge moving forward. But that's pretty much what I've been up to lately. I also bought some secret rares that I'd like to show you guys in the same video. So I know this is all about the acrylics and keeping your booster boxes safe, your ETBs safe. But let's look at some secret rares from Dragon Ball Super. Alright guys, so I bought some secret rares and some other cards from my friend Jay. Uh, the guy that I interviewed. Not Jay from the last video, different Jay. Funny how there's quite a few of them. So he's chucked in some freebies, we'll look at those first. Here is a Center Scorch Holographic. Pretty cool. Anytime you get freebies, it's always cool. I like to say that. And um, he's a friend of mine, so I, I'm sure, you know, <laughs> he was going to... He didn't have to chuck in anything. And I know he knows I have a channel, but it's not like I'm promoting... He, he doesn't really sell that much. So, you know, I think he just gave these to me for free just because he's a cool guy, you know, a good guy and, you know good collector, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so Zamasu, we got a Broly Saiyan Berserker ISR. Very nice. I think I have a couple of these, so uh, these ones graded go for a decent price, considering how often I see these cards. They usually come in a set of ISRs. Uh, I think the Broly is probably the best looking one, in my opinion. So yeah, uh, really nice of him to send that to me. We also have, these are the secret rares that I bought. And I'm going to grade these. I grade every secret rare that I get usually. Um, and that's my kind of pro tip, even if it's off-center. Um, I've had this discussion with a few people. I think secret rares are the go-to cards in Super, if anything, especially for the set cards. Here is a Frieza Army Reborn. Paid $200 for it. I think that's the average selling price in Australia. And, um, yeah, I think any secret rare is pretty much worth it, especially... Something like this is $200. Booster boxes go for $150 usually at uh, retail in Australia. So, you know, paying between $150 and $200 is pretty much just buying a booster box. But this guarantees me getting the secret rare. So, I think that's a fair price. I think, you know, considering how old this card is compared to some of the new secret rares, I think the price is good. And it's got plenty of potential, plenty of upside. I mean, it's not... The main characters, but it does have Broly, it does have Frieza. Uh, it's based off the movie kind of thing, so I think it's going to do all right in value. And with Secret Rares, there's always Secret Rare collectors out there, people who want the high-end cards and all that. So uh, I grade any Secret Rare I have, even if they think it, the grade's not going to do well. I think moving along in the future, the PSA 9s or whatever like that will uh, increase in value just kind of like... The 10s. The 10s always generally increase in value, but then the 9s will follow. And uh, I think that is definitely something with Dragon Ball Super and some of these secret rares. But the other thing is, some people are in the mindset of like, you know, I just need 10s. Uh, I really do think 9s can go for crazy cheap, and you can get good cards like secret rares at 9s, you know, for a good price. So if you can, I think, you know, it's a good idea. Here is another... Uh, secret rare card. This is Goku with Oob, Son Goku and Oob Seeds of the Future. Really cool. Decent card. I have seen this plenty of times on eBay and I never bought it. I never pulled the trigger. Um, but I decided, you know, why not? I've got quite a few secret rares now, so might as well keep that train going. Uh, two cool secret rares to add to the collection. This one cost me 100 This one cost me 200 as you can see, the price for this hasn't really fluctuated, hasn't really changed that much. And to buy a secret rare for $100, I think, is good. Um, considering it's lower than the box price for a lot of the time. And, uh, you know, $100, I'm not really messing around there. $200, yeah, that's pretty alright as well. 
they're not as high as the most popular sacred rares, but I think definitely worth it. Um, if you can get all the sacred rares from every set every single time and just hold on to them, I think that's a good that's a good move when it comes to Dragon Ball Super. I think that's definitely an investable move and also a collector move, as a lot of people do collect these cards. So there it is, guys. My acrylic cases. My new protection for my booster box is really nice to have them sealed. Uh, I think it's better that way, keep them safe and all that. And then also the two new secret rares. The freebies I never really count, but I am really cool and happy about this Broly ISR. Really cool from the Assault of the Saiyans. Also a set that is coming up in price really strongly. So there it is, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. Enter booster box giveaway. Always trying to give those boxes away when we hit the thousand um, the thousand subscriber mark. You know, when we hit two k, I'll give away battle styles. When we hit three k, I'm I'm thinking about a booster box, maybe a vicious rejuvenation booster box or something like that. Dragon Ball Super might as well look after you guys as well. So there it is, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.